हाउ टू चेंज द ट्रेक्योस्टोमी ट्यूब क्लीन द लोकल एरिया विथ बीटाडीन और कोविडोन आयोडीन सोल्यूशन रिमूव द ड्रेसिंग सम कफिंग रिफ्लेक्स विच कैन हैपन टू द पेशेंट सो एट दिस मोमेंट वी विल डू गुड सक्शन टू सक्शन द ट्यूब बिफोर इंसर्टिंग द सक्शन कैन ना इन साइड यू प्रेस द सक्शन सो दैट वाइल इंसर्शन द सक्शन फोर्स शुड नॉट बी अप्लाइड एज वी विदड्रॉ द सक्शन सक्शनिंग शुड टेक प्लेस एज वी कट द स्ट्रेप there is a chance that the tube can come out so the assistant will hold the flange this is the flange so that the tube does not come out we remove this tube we remove this strap around the patient's neck very carefully and now the assistant holds the flange it's the time to change the tube ecostomy tube that we should be inserting should ideally be same size or a, or a lesser size tube the present patient has got a 8 size tracheostomy tube will be changing to another 8 size tracheostomy tube you check the cuff of the tube by inserting around 20 ml of air check the cuff sometimes there can be a leak present in the cuff we see here that the air is completely filled and we don't see any leakage we completely deflate this cuff so that while insertion this cuff will not cause any obstruction jelly on the cuff and the tip of this tube so that insertion becomes easier the most comfortable and the secure method is rail roading where we put a suction cannula inside which acts as a guide wire on this suction cannula we remove the tube and on the same suction cannula we reinsert we will just demonstrate the procedure we detach this oxygen attachment we insert the suction cannula inside on the suction cannula we will withdraw this tube keeping the suction cannula inside we can see that the old tube has got lot of blood clot and it was a correct time to change the tube keeping the suction cannula inside the assistant holds the suction cannula and we insert the new tube inside it we are sure that the tube is inside the suction cannula is inside and we just have to we just have to insert it inside as it goes inside we remove the suction cannula as the tube goes inside the assistant holds the flange because it can come out with the effort of the cuff and initially we inject 8 ml of air which ultimately we will reduce to 4 once the patient is settled the assistant keep assistant keep holding the flange and we will tie the tube with the available strap request to be tube we get two straps the a good way a secure way to tie this is double this strap the double end will go inside the strap the flange of the botex tube and we take this thread out from this loop and the thread goes inside the loop now the pale tying the knot we take care that we keep one finger on this side and we tell the assistant to tie a very tight knot for routine dressing below the flange with a with a povidone iodine solution